Begin by allowing your body to get comfortable. Find a position for your body that feels good for you and settle into that posture. Noticing the comfort in that position and really enjoying it. At any time during this meditation, feel free to make any adjustments that you need to get comfortable. It's always allowed. And from here, allow your body to relax. Notice any tension that might be present in your body at this time. Gently invite that tension, that tightness to relax, to loosen, to let go. Those muscles may or may not be willing to relax, may or may not be able to relax, but you can invite them to do so. Anywhere that you find tension or tightness in the body, gently invite it to relax. Again, if at any time during this meditation you find that your body has tightened up, feel free to relax and to do so as many times as you need to. And if you'd like, if it feels good for you, Invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. It doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a gentle, easy smile. Very good. Now, begin to involve your mind, thinking, by recalling anything in your life that makes you feel grateful, gives you a felt sense of gratitude. And tell yourself about these things in your mind. I feel grateful for this and I feel grateful for that. Whatever it is for you, tell yourself about that. Tell yourself several things that you're grateful for. And notice as you do that, how your body feels. In particular, if you can feel gratitude in your body, 
there's any happiness or joy that arises from doing this. Really savor that. Delight in gratitude. Good. Now, bring to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Your easy to love person or animal, whoever that is for you. This could be a friend or family member, small child or a pet, or even someone imaginary. Visualize in your mind someone that you feel love for. An easy, uncomplicated love. And see that person in your mind's eye. And imagine them being happy. whatever it is that they look like when they're happy. Smiling or laughing or playing. Visualize that in your mind's eye. You're doing this as an exercise and well-wishing, connecting to a sense of wanting someone else to be happy, cultivating a sense of goodwill. See if you can connect to that desire as you visualize your easy to love person or animal being happy, genuinely wanting that for them. If you'd like, you can supplement this activity by using mental talk, phrases in your mind, saying things that express this desire that your easy to love person might be happy. Whatever resonates for you. It may very well be specific to this person and your relationship with them. 
but something like, I love you, or I care about you, or I want you to be so happy. Anything that expresses that well-wishing, genuinely wanting them to be happy. And it's not so important whether you use images or talk or both. You get to decide. The main thing is to connect to this sense of well-wishing genuinely wanting them to be happy. Again, to whatever extent you Feel this desire in your body. That it makes you feel happy. Feel love and care. Notice those feelings and really enjoy them. Savor them. Delight in them. Allow yourself to be nourished by them. This is a wholesome form of joy and happiness. So really enjoy it. See if you can stabilize yourself in this attitude of well-wishing. In whatever way it's available to you, whether it's primarily mental, using images or mental talk, or if you can feel it in your body, feeling that love and care, well-wishing. See if you can stabilize yourself in that. Using that intention as the focus space. Returning to it if you get distracted and staying with it if you're concentrated.
without leaving that focus space, that sense of goodwill, genuine well-wishing. See if you can put on the perspective that somehow, in a way that may be difficult to understand or comprehend or prove, this might be, in fact, how the universe feels about us. The kind of love that we feel for our easy to love person or animal. Genuine well-wishing, wanting them to be happy. Is how the universe itself feels about us. Just setting aside whether this is true or not provable or not, just putting that perspective on, trying it out, exploring it, seeing if in our own heart we can connect to the way that the universe feels about us, the same sense of love and goodwill. Again, if it's helpful, you can use mental images or mental talk to reinforce this. Being playful and creative with images or phrases that express this idea in a way that resonates for you. Or if you can simply feel it in your heart. Allow yourself to really take that in, that feeling of love. In any case, however you're working with it, allow your sense, yourself to connect to a sense of being loved by the universe. yourself be loved. Let this sense of being loved by the universe, whether it's primarily mental or embodied, be your focus space. Stay with that sense of being loved. And if at any time you get distracted, simply invite it in once more whether it's with images or phrases, 
or by connecting to a feeling of being loved. Again, if you're focused, stay right with it. And if you get distracted, simply return. Either way, practice connecting to this sense of being loved by the universe.
Very good. Now, take a moment to recall what this practice period has been like for you. To remember what your experience has been. To see if there are any lessons that you might discern. What happened? What worked well for you? And anything you might change in the future. Take a moment to recall and reflect. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 